All right, Anne, thank you. As the measles outbreak continues, Fox 12's Marja Martinez did some digging into the cost of the outbreak for taxpayers. She joins us live with the very latest numbers. Marja? Well, the first case was confirmed on January 4th. That's about two months ago, but it wasn't until January 15th that Clark County Public Health activated its incident command, and it's on that date that officials there say they began to pay for this outbreak. Now, according to public health officials, at last check, the agency has spent more than $600,000 investigating and controlling the spread of measles. I'm told the agency's annual fund balance policy includes $400,000 for emergency incident response, but now this uh, latest figure exceeds that total and they'll have to pull money from other funds to pay for the emergency response. In addition to more than half of a million dollars that the county has spent, the Washington Department of Health says it has contributed $752,000 to managing the outbreak. DOH officials say the bulk of that money has been used to cover labor expenses. They say the agency does not have an emergency fund set aside specifically for outbreaks, but the CDC is helping with some of the costs. Officials tell me the number of confirmed cases is now up to 70 with two suspected cases. In addition to that, there's also one new measles exposure site, Peace Health Southwest Medical Center in Vancouver. That just highlights the importance of calling your provider before visiting the clinic if you suspect you or a family member may have the measles or so you don't expose others. Now, today, Fox 12 spoke with the father of a five-year-old who says his son developed a rash. Instead of taking him to the ER, he used OHSU's virtual urgent care service. My son had a rash on his chest and on some of his arms. So we were worried that maybe it was measles. So we did a video conference. I held the phone up so that the nurse could see Henry's, my son's chest and rash. And they very quickly determined that it was not measles. Although it turned out to be a false alarm, OHSU officials, they basically say that the family did the right thing. They handled the scary situation um, in the way that is recommended, and they hope other families follow their lead. A virtual doctor visits are becoming more common for many clinics as well as health care providers. Reporting Mar tonight, Marja Martinez, Fox 12 Oregon. Portland State University.